Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So, I find that a lot of these modern chicks don't understand how bad modern chicks are until their son starts dating some toxic 304, or their brother, or maybe their dad gets divorced and starts dating a 304, or they are... Lesbian! <laughs> And today, guys, we're going to look at two cases of moms whose sons are dating some toxic 304s. So we're going to get into this, but before we do, like, subscribe, drop a comment, because it really helps keep this channel going. Check out my second channel linked in the description. Check out the playlist linked at the end. And let's get into this, guys. Okay, so this is from Reddit, right? Is my son, 21 male, is in a 10-month relationship with this girlfriend who's 19. Say so they look good together, they love each other, she's very nice, discreet, and polite. But we keep getting red flags. So for one, she doesn't have any friends and seems to have been lonely most of her life. Red flag, guys. Okay, she started to sleep over at our house a few nights a week. So we were fine with that, but suddenly it started to be every day. And when my son was out to work or school, she stayed in the basement waiting for him. Now, guys, sidebar. This means that her son is working and going to school, and this knuckleheaded 304 has nothing going on, and just waits around for him. Clown world, right? Okay. This girl has refused to go back to her place and told her dad that she could she could decide where, to, where she wanted to live. We have set our limits to let her know that she will be welcome only three nights a week. When we had the conversation, she told my son that she would just sleep in her car. Look at that. What bothers me is the drama that surrounds her. Now, guys, this is the mom saying this. She has a few crying fits that I am aware of. I sense that, that she can be manipulative. I'm worried that my son will hesitate to exit this relationship for fear of her breaking down. In my opinion, he's heading towards a toxic relationship. I want to raise his awareness without alienating him. Any insight would be appreciated. Now, guys, she had to follow this up and says, I feel like a weirdo with all the down votes, but my question is legitimate. Now, guys, once again, we all knew that because this chick's advocating for her son, all these 304s on Reddit are going to take the little girlfriend's side. Because it's never the woman's fault. Okay. That's how this works. So she's saying, look, my question is legitimate. How can you tell a loved one that they're potentially in an unhealthy relationship? Now, all these comments here are saying, maybe you just need to understand that she's, uh, that her parents might be abusive. Is she safe at home? Look at that. Look at that. So they're basically saying, um, oh, that the mom is somehow some piece of trash because she doesn't want some broad uh, uh, shacking up in her house. There's, there's only one comment here uh, that's actually in her favor. Look at this. Um, where is it here? Let me go here. Okay, this person says, and this is a woman. Honestly, it sounds like neither one of them have much respect for you or your home. I have a 21-year-old son. I could not imagine him essentially moving someone into my home without discussing it with, with me and getting my permission. I personally would not be okay with my son moving his girlfriend in without a long discussion and a valid reason. There you go. Look at that. So wanting to have sex pretend marriage is not a valid reason for you to take on another dependent. Ask your question about how to discuss this. Talk to him straight. Explain explain that you like his girlfriend, blah, 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 but you have some con concern. Facts. There it is. This is the only person out of all of this that actually said, look, you are not crazy. This chick needs to get the hell out of your house. And she's toxic, right? Look at this. And now... Here's another one, guys. This is from um, Newsweek. So my son's controlling girlfriend has ruined our close bond. What should I do? Dear Newsweek, my son who's 39 has an eight-year-old child with his ex. He met a young lady with two boys by two separate men. There it is. 
there it is, guys. There it is, right, right there. Lady, I'm sorry, but your son is a beta. <laughs> Look at that. He met a young lady with two boys by two separate men, and now has a nine-month-old with my son. Oh no! Oh no, dude. This chick must have the magic for JJ, dude. Look at that. So my son and I have always had a very close relationship, but since meeting this lady, I've been classified as a terrible grandmother and soon-to-be mother. And law. I've never in my whole life had anyone dislike me, so this is very hard for me to understand. She's very controlling. Everything has to be her way. And she's never tried to have a relationship with me. She's banned me from seeing my, my granddaughter. It's caused a lot of problems between me and my son. If I buy things from for my first grandson that he's asked for, then she thinks I should buy for her two sons as well, and I'm not even close with her kids. There it is. Guys, all these women think that, oh, men are jerks, and that women are angels who don't do anything wrong. And guess what? Their son, their brother, or their dad, whatever, starts dating one of these, these chicks, and guess what, ladies? You've been Clown world. <laughs> Look at that. This has been going on for six to nine months. I'm totally heartbroken. So when I married my second husband, he had a son who so raised three boys and a blended fam family. So I know all too well what this is like. My boys never had a problem with my husband buying his son things that I could not buy for them. Why do people feel so entitled for everything? Because women are 304s. Children need to be taught that you can't have everything. Hey guys, I don't really care what this person says. All I can say is, lady, your son's an idiot. Is she, it seems like his wife is a dirty 304, right? <laughs> Who spent her whole 20s... And now, her son... This lady's son is a cleanup dude, right? Beta! Look at that, guys. This is the only way that these chicks can understand um, what 304s are like. You know what I'm saying? This is the only way that this works. Look at that. So, anyways, all right, you guys. Let me know what you think, you know? Right? Because <laughs> this is happening more and more and more. You know? So, alright, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe. I'm out of here.